Now, I've been practicing mindfulness for over half of my life now. And one of the reasons I, I love it so much is because it's all about stopping and actually spending time with the ordinary. Uh, mindfulness teaches us not to live in the past or to long for a future, but to be here now, in this moment, fully and fearlessly. Um, paying attention on purpose might seem ridiculously simple, but ask anyone who practices mindfulness, it's really difficult. And it requires a lot of practice and uh, determination. Uh, we live in a culture that promotes distraction rather than attention. And so we spend a lot of our time zoned out of our experience, zoned out of life. Uh, a recent Harvard study revealed that the average American spends almost half their lives not paying attention to what's actually happening. So what are they paying attention to? Well, the same thing that we pay attention to, thoughts. Thoughts about life. Worries, fear, dread, anxieties, depression, who's going to win X Factor, blah, blah, blah. And this is terrifying because we're essentially missing our lives happen. The same study linked being distracted with feeling unhappy. So the evidence seems to suggest that we feel unhappy when we're disconnected from the present moment. And we feel happy when we're fully engaged with, connected to our present moment. And that's, that's really important. Um, what that shows us, what that points to, is the fact that happiness is not an external accident. It's an internal skill. Every time that we can step away from distraction, step back from the thoughts in our head and tune into the experience we're having, we're happy. And I'm not talking about the kind of happiness that we see on TV or on the uh, adverts or movies or on Friends or something like that. The kind of happiness I'm talking about isn't a short-term emotion. It's a long-term understanding. Mary Oliver, the poet, said, to pay attention, that is our endless and proper work. And it's only through paying attention to this familiar, ordinary experience that we can begin to understand it. And when we begin to understand it, already there's a natural sense of clarity, calm, and contentment. And this, this, is, this is vital, I mean, this is good news, because we spend a lot of our time putting happiness into the future. And we say, well, I'll only be happy when I win the lottery. Well, you have a one in 14 million chance of winning the lottery, so, okay, there is a chance. So we can play every week, we can cross our fingers, we can put happiness on hold until, or we can pay attention to what's here right now. So <clears throat> I'd like us to do something together now. Okay? I'm going to uh, guide us through a very basic mindfulness exercise to help us actually tune into the experience we're having. And all I ask you to do is listen. Okay? So we can begin by just a word on posture. If you just like to sit up a bit straighter with a straight spine, nothing forced, feet on the floor, but that just helps us pay attention, because that's what this is all about, paying attention. If you want, you can close your eyes so you can really drop back, really tune in to the experience that's here right now. The first thing to do is just listen. Okay, listen to what? Well, sounds. Are sounds coming and going? We don't need to label them. We don't need to tell a story about them. Just be aware. Are sounds happening? Are there distant sounds? Sounds from outside of the room you can hear. Maybe there's a dog barking or a car horn, cameraman falling over. Or what about sounds that are in the room? Maybe sounds from your body. Maybe sounds from inside your head. Maybe you can hear your ears ringing. We're just listening. We can drop our attention now into the body. 
as it sits here on these chairs. Are you comfortable? Are you uncomfortable? Do you feel tired? Are you snoozy? Is there pain or discomfort in the body somewhere? Are you hungry or full? We're just getting a general overview of how the body feels right now. Not trying to do anything with it, just seeing what it's already doing. Becoming aware of how your feet feel on the floor. How do they feel right now? Are they hot, cold, numb? And your hands. What's happening in your hands right now? Are they clammy, cold, fizzy? Can you feel the blood moving in your hands? Now we can put our attention onto the breath as we feel it flowing in and out off the body. So how do you know that you're breathing right now? Where's the clue? There must be a sensation, a feeling off the breath moving somewhere in the body. So just see if you can find it. Maybe you can feel it in the belly, softly rising and falling. Or maybe it's in the chest and lungs, again, rising and falling in its own rhythm. I'm just paying attention to that. We can notice how that feels. How does it feel to be breathing? We breathe when we're awake, unconscious, asleep. It's always happening. How does it feel right now? Does it feel nice? Is it nice to be breathing? Does it feel spacious, open, relaxed? Or maybe not. Maybe it feels labored or tight. That's okay too. So we're just resting with that breath in the body, feeling it, feeling into it. Perhaps we can notice that your breath isn't in a hurry. It's not trying to get somewhere. It's just here, now, in this moment. It's such a, a simple, effortless movement. So now we can become aware of the breath as we feel it flowing in and out off your nose. So put your attention into the nostrils. And just see if you can notice the breath moving there. It's a very quiet, subtle sensation, so it might take you a few moments to catch the feeling of the breath there. You might begin to notice a crisper, sharper in-breath, followed by a longer, warmer out-breath. So for the next couple of minutes, we're going to watch this breath, be aware of this breath, feel into this breath. This breath will act as an anchor, something to tie our attention to, to keep it here in this moment. Every time your attention wanders off into thoughts, which it will do many times, we just recognize that we're thinking, no problem. And then just guide your attention back into that raw flow of breath. So staying with each breath, the feel of each breath. When the attention wanders off into thoughts, that's okay. We just notice it, then bring the attention back into that feeling of the breath. So this is what it feels like to be alive. At some point, every human being who has ever lived has felt what you feel right now, just this moment. 
just this experience. At some point in the future, every human being who is yet to live will feel what you feel right now. It's an ordinary experience. We spend our lives chasing a deep sense of connection, fulfillment, clarity, peace, understanding. Never really stopping to see that actually we're already soaked in these qualities. And if we can just learn to stay here with our ordinary, familiar experience, we can come to see that being ordinary isn't something to run away from. It's something to run into again and again and again. So I'd just like to finish with a quote by Taishan, who was a ninth century Zen master. And he says, what is known as realizing the mystery is nothing more than breaking through to grab an ordinary person's life. So, I just want to encourage you today to grab your life. Grab your precious, ordinary, mysterious life before it's over. There's not a moment to waste. Thank you.